All right guys, welcome back. And if you know me from my old channel, then you already know this gun. For those of you who don't know, this was my old YouTube channel. YouTube deleted it because I had like guns and hunting and stuff on it, so. So I'll be sure not to make that mistake again on this channel. But if you are from my old channel, then you know this is the Hatsan Torpedo 150 Sniper. This is one of the world's most powerful brake barrel air guns, or I guess, technically in this case it's an under lever. Either way, they're piston driven air guns. And out here at the ranch, we've been having a lot of pest problems, as anywhere from rabbits to rats getting in the grain, birds, raccoons. So I figured I'd break this air gun out since we're dealing with a little bit larger of a pest than normal that I would use with my gamma. So today I'm just gonna go ahead and get this gun all set up for the hunt. And Hotson sent me this gun a couple years ago, and this gun is the cream of the crop. They really hooked me up. So it has the Vortex gas system, the Quattro trigger, and the shock absorption system. This is one of the best triggers I've ever messed with on a spring air gun. And then the Vortex is great because if I'm set up in the horse barn, you know, waiting for a raccoon or whatever to come in, I can leave this gun cocked, and because it doesn't have a spring, the spring's not gonna wear out because it's a gas system. So I can leave this cocked for like 10 hours, and it's not gonna damage anything. And as you can see, I don't have an optic on it. I've had an optic on this gun before. It works great, I just really like the iron sights, and for the type of hunting I'm about to do, it's gonna be under 25 yards. And just for the record, I mean, I'm not an air gun review channel, but I love air guns out here on the ranch. And everybody in the comments always wants to know, you know, what's your FPS, what are you getting with this and that. So first off, lucky for me, this gun's favorite pellet is the Premier Hollow Points made by Crossman. For 500 of these in 22 caliber, you can pick them up at Walmart for like six bucks. And this gun absolutely loves them. It is super accurate with them. And there's not a lot of pellets that this gun didn't like, but as far as foot pounds, energy, and muzzle velocity and whatnot. So with the Hotson Torpedo 150 Sniper Vortex, this gun is getting 666 feet per second with the Premier Hollow Points, generating 29 to 30 foot pounds of energy with this, which is insane. The reason why I say this is the world's most powerful piston air rifle is because supposedly the Gamo Magnum is the most powerful, but with my Gamo Magnum using the JSB Diablos, which were the most powerful pellets, but not the most accurate in the Gamo, it was getting 913 feet per second, generating 25 foot pounds of energy, which this one has it beat by five. That's just my readings off my gun. Some people might have different ones. And also surprisingly enough, there's only like five videos on YouTube using this gun and all of them are like filmed in foreign countries and it looks like they're filmed on like an iphone 4. this gun will kill a hog and i know that because when i was researching this gun when hot sun said they were going to send it to me i found a video of somebody putting down a very large domesticated pig with this to butcher and i'm assuming that's because it's in a country where you're not allowed to own a firearm to dispatch your butcher animal so they just use this gun and uh it, you can look up the video i'm not going to show it but it it put the pig down and as you can see this gun is an absolute behemoth it is huge so i'm going to go ahead and get this thing set up i'm going to set out a target 25 yards put some rounds through it just make sure it's on and hitting where i want it to hit and get this gun set up for ranch pest control and then in the next video i film i'm probably going to be doing some coon hunting or something with this gun so i'm going to go get a target set up at 25 yards All right, so I'm under my hay barn right now where I'm gonna take these shots. I could take it out to my range and put it on a bench, but it's a little too breezy for that. And at least right here, I'm in a more controlled environment. So instead of putting it on a bench, I'm just gonna be shooting it off the stick. Alrighty, I got the target right at 25 yards. So in my last video when I was shooting the gamo, I was shooting it like this off of the shooting sticks without doing the artillery hold. And a lot of people got pissed off about that because I wasn't using the artillery hold with the Springer, even though I was shooting quarter size groups at 25 and 30 yards with it. With that gamo, you can shoot it off of sticks just like this, and it works just fine with this gun. Surprisingly, it doesn't do terrible just shooting it like this off of sticks, but if you really want to, you know, get your accuracy, you want to put your hand under it and do, you know, the artillery hold to get your best accuracy out of it. And as far as cocking it, it's, it's really not that hard. But for this gun, producing the energy and as powerful as it is for this, all that there is to cock. It's one bad thing about these Crossman Premiers is some of them will fit in there pretty loose. All right, let's go see how we did at 25 yards. All right, so at 25 yards, we got two in the same hole right there. One there, one there, one there. And this is iron sights. So I'd say I'm gonna move it up and to the right just a little, and I'd say that's about dead on. Just to help show how powerful this gun is, 
These are one by sixes and it is just blowing through them at 25 yards without a problem. All right, so I moved the target up to 15 and shot another group. And as you can see, there's just two jagged holes right there. So I'd say I just need to move it to the left and I'm good to go. So I went to a branding like in June and somebody left this in the back of my truck and it's been banging around back there since then. So it's not opened yet. And this is about the size of a kill zone of a rabbit or a crow or whatever I might be hunting. I'm gonna set this right there. And then I'm gonna step back at about 30 yards and try to offhand it. 28 yards, close enough. Well, I got it. I was expecting a lot more from it, but... So I was expecting a lot more from it, but it looks like I just barely grazed it. Man, that stinks. So if you want to see more of this gun, go ahead and subscribe because in the next video, I'm probably going to be doing that hunting. I just want to make sure it was on, make sure it was grouping. The groups I was holding at 25 yards are all within the kill zone of a crow, raccoon, whatever I'm hunting. So if you want to see the hunting video, go ahead and subscribe because that's probably going to be my next video. So I think in the meantime, I might go set me up a little blind in the horse barn, get some things set up. So uh, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it and I'll see you in the next video.